Motilal, hi. hi. Welcome. Hi. So, why are you here? What's going on? Uh, as we all know, Megan is conducting a rally from Pune to Nasik. So, we all wanted to try an EV cycle which can give about 100 km range. So, we are trying it today. All good and all fantastic. The ETOs are ready. Yes. So, we want to make this world green yes. as much as possible to our level. Yes. Starting from cycles to 4-wheelers. Okay. Hopefully, we will be successful in some time. Okay. And we are working towards this. We want everyone's support for us. For this. Great, great. And uh, he is Muthuvira from Spero, Krubagaran from Spero and Anand from Spero. Okay. We will meet you guys in, in Changam Name. Yeah, Changam we will meet you in Changam Name. Okay, great. Like for 5 hours from now. Okay, great. So, just a little bit about your bikes. Uh, E100 range and just specifications. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, we have an uh, electric bike which has a range of 100 kilometers for one charge. So, 100 kilometers meaning only in throttle. So, we pedal, it gives more kilometer. So, we our test of prune, it, is, it gives about 160 to 180 kilometers. Today will be a test. Today will be a test ride. Yes, okay. we, will, we are going to prove, like in India also, that we can make more than 100 kilometers in a E100. Okay. So it has fantastic features like USB charger. It has a walk assist. It is. It has regenerative braking like any other car. It has a cruise control mode like any other big brand car. Yeah. We have uh, we have pedal assist, which gives you more power to ride. So yeah. altogether, it is an amazing cycle, yeah. which have which we are trying to make cycling a fun, and we want most of the people to cycle which is missing which we are missing for almost close to 10 years now okay great thank you so much <laughs> we're here to flag off this rally from uh, pune to nasik they're ex actually excited uh, 200 odd kilometers i'm sure we'll try to make it in a charge but uh, yes give us a chance let's try and see if we can make it in a charge otherwise i think uh, we should at least cover about 70 percent of the distance in a charge so meaning uh, i think the team is well equipped to handle about 150 kilometers on uh, without a charge. So it's all E100 sparked here. Yeah. Alright, what's uh, coming in the future for Spero? Uh, uh, <coughs> um, we we'll continue with this uh, 30, 60 and 100. Uh, we've got some thoughts running in. We're adding a few accessories and gadgets to the whole system. And uh, we're preparing ourselves for a commercial opening. So we should have stores across a few cities in this quarter. And uh, the next three quarters, 2017, uh, we would see a subtle change in uh, a few sparrows and uh, we'll prepare ourselves to become a full-fledged EV player in about 12 to 18 months. So the, the way to reach that destination will be visible uh, over the next two or three quarters. All right, great. It's all set. Uh, we have uh, the trip meter. So the trip meter is zero in all uh, bikes we will be probably making a review on every 40 kilometers of our ride uh, in a total of in a total of 100 200 kilometers reached our first kilometer pit stop just to understand how much we have made so as you like as you all can see the electric bike has made Spiro has made 40 kilometers without a problem in all the bikes we have used so now I we have completed the second pit stop we have achieved 80 kilometers now so uh, it's a, it, is, it was quite fantastic, right? It was absolutely smooth. So we thought we'll have our lunch because we are hungry. 80 grams of cycling is real good work. So now uh, let's see the meters. This is Anand's, Anand's cycle. He has made 80. This is mine, Motilal. I have made 80. Yes. This comes Kurbagaran. Kurbagaran also has made 80. And uh, Mutuvira. Like so uh, after lunch, probably a break of 20 minutes, we will start again and reach the final destination. We will meet you guys in another hunt in, in when we reach when you achieve 100. Fine. Uh, finally, we have achieved the 100 mark. It was awesome, right? Uh, and we are very very happy to ride this road, and it was a fantastic experience for us. Thank you, Plugin India, for organizing this. So now uh, let's see. The bikes made 100 kilometers.
So we have reached the final destination. Uh, we have reached the first mile, first milestone of 100 kilometers. Now we are heading to the final destination. See you there. I'm right. I'm on the way from Sangamne to Nasik on the Sparrow. Couple more Sparrow riders on the way, and there they are. Oh, I love that sound of the motor. Incredible. Alright, I'm on the Nashik Highway towards Nashik from Sangamne on the Sparrow. And that's me riding at a speed of 26 kmph. And uh, it's uh, very comfortable. I don't feel like I'm in a cycle, I feel pretty comfortable. And it's, it's almost highway worthy, it's almost road worthy. This is at the fifth pedal assist, level pedal assist. Alright, still going strong with Sparrow. I'm at uh, pedal assist level 4 and I'm pedaling. And uh, these kind of small hills are not a problem at all. Ped I'm done pedaling and I'm going to throttle. Yeah, I'm throttling now and uh, speed's increasing to 25 and now it's, it's changed to C. C stands for cruise control and uh, I'm, I'm not using my throttle and the bike is going on its own. Uh, it's like a normal cruise control in a petrol car, oil car. It's uh, perfect. It's just great. Uh, you can see the LCD it says C. It changed to C. That means that it's in cruise control mode. And uh, I'm doing nothing. If you see my throttle, I'm not. I'm not pressing the throttle. I'm not pedaling. Constant speed. Constant speed. And it's also taking me uphill. And I'm just chilling. Uh, this is this is great. Cruise control is great. Uh, after after cycling, say pedaling for 10 kilometers, or you just want to take a break. I mean, you can just relax and uh, take in the scenery and. Don't do anything and chill. Uh, this is a great feature. Cruise control is awesome. Yeah. Relax. Okay. So now I'm uh, in zero gear. That is uh, no pedal assist. And I can, even if I use my throttle, and it's not pushing me. It's all human power now. It's. Uh, just me slogging it through. Uh, it's a fairly straight road. There's not not a it's not a slight gradient, maybe. Uh, yes. So when you are doing this without any assist, uh, it's uh, pedaling becomes uh, pedaling is not easy. Yeah, and, and I'm being a cyclist. I miss the going to a low gear and you know. Uh, given the physical gears. So this cycle, a Sparrow doesn't have a physical gear and you're stuck on a constant gear and uh, 
this is where you miss uh, having the physical gears. Well, you would uh, not need one because you have those digital gears and you have a battery anyway, motor. But uh, once in a while when you want to pedal, it's not easy because it's uh, it weighs uh, around 25 kgs, 23-25 kgs and the steel frame is heavy. And uh, pedaling with a single gear is not easy and without pedal assist. So I'm going at a speed of 14 kph. Whereas with pedal assist, I could easily go over 25, uh, 15 kph, yeah. and I'm panting a bit, but it's okay, you like doing this, and it's just a beautiful road, it just curves on those hills, it's just great. Okay, enough pedaling, I'm going to use pedal assist now, so 